Hello, welcome back to the channel. We've got some news for Stockport County fans today on the channel. It's not the kind of news that you want to hear on the back of a 5 0 win against Wrexham at the weekend, which of course was a fantastic win for Stockport County. Absolutely stunned by it as well, to be honest. Didn't expect that kind of result. Uh, thought that we might win the game, but as I say, a lot of people going into the game expected Wrexham to, you know, to win that game as well, uh, potentially even a draw. I predicted there would be five goals in the game. I said a 3-2 win for County. I didn't think five goals would go in and we keep a clean sheet. So absolutely thrilled with that win. It was really, really good performance from County. As I say, struggled early on the first 10, 15 minutes. Managed to soak up a bit of the pressure. And then they get, you know, we got the first goal. And from there, it just sort of snowballed. And as I say, you win the game 5-0. Really, really good. Uh, obviously, Tanto Alafi with his hat-trick, he was absolutely faultless. I think I would have given him man the match. I think I might have said it in the vlog as well. If you haven't seen it, do go and check it out. Uh, but of course, Louis Barry got on the score sheet again in that game, making it six goals in his last six games for Stockport County. And now, of course, talk is taking place about whether or not Louis Barry's loan to Stockport County may be cut short in January, of course, on loan from Aston Villa. This has come from the Birmingham uh, Mail Online, I think it is, or Birmingham Mail. And they're saying that Aston Villa may consider bringing him back to uh to obviously to their football club in january so let's see what it says here in this article again birmingham mail how reliable is that i'm not so sure it's close to the club potentially there is something in this again it's not confirmed it's just speculation at the moment so relax yourselves a little bit it's no confirmation that he's going to go just yet but potentially with the goal scoring form he's got behind him at the moment you could understand why they might look to load him out uh, to you know to a high division. So it's saying here that Aston Villa could reportedly recall young ace Louis Barry from Stockport County once the transfer window reopens in January. Barry, 20, is currently on a season-long loan at Edgeley Park. After making the switch during the summer, he is taken to League Two by storm and is already leading the way as the club's top goal scorer this term. Barry has proven a significant coup for County with the forward netting six goals in as many league games. The latter coming in Saturday's 5-0 thumping of Wrexham. Team Talk report that Villa are considering the possibility of exercising the option to call him back in the new year. It is claimed that Villa could look to send Barry on loan at a higher level. He is yet to play in the Championship, having featured for clubs in both League One and League Two so far. So that's where we, you know, that, that's the information we've got. That's come from the Birmingham Mail. They're getting their source from Team Talk. So again, it's not come from an official source. It's not come from a reliable source as of yet. But it is something to keep an eye on. And I kind of said this uh, about a week ago as well after uh, MK Don's game at, uh, in Milton Keynes, get my words out, uh, when, of course, he scored again. Uh, he's just in phenomenal form at the moment, Louis Barry. He does look like something else. He does look too good for League Two, I've got to say. And I can't help but wonder why he couldn't get this kind of a tune out of him at Salford last season when he was there on loan. Also on loan at MK Don's as well. I don't think his form was particularly great at Salford. I'm not sure what it was like at MK Dons, but I can't imagine it would have been great to then loan him to a division lower. So I don't get where this form has come from. Obviously, Dave Challenge managed to get a tune out of him, but we haven't really seen. We know he's got talent because, you know, obviously play for Barcelona now. OK, he, well, he contracted Barcelona. Barcelona signed him. OK, he might not have made a first team appearance, but this kid's only 20. And as I say, if you're playing for Barcelona, if you're signed by Barcelona at any point in your career, um, then, then you've done something good. You must have some ability about you. And we're seeing that ability at the moment at Edgeley Park. We've seen a player that looks to come in from the left-hand side on his right foot, and he looks so threatening, he is causing a lot of problems. And as I say, he's a young player that can cause, you know, young players can cause problems. Young players can be exciting. But the difference between him and a lot of good young players is he's got end products as well. Not only is he looking good, taking on players from the left-hand side, coming in and looking like he's going to do something, he does actually do something. He has that end product. He has the six goals, he has the two assists to his name. If you look at his record so far in League 2 this season, uh, or certainly in all competitions this season, 11 matches in all competitions for Stockport County, six goals and two assists. So in pretty much every game he's been involved in, he's had some sort of goal involvement. The good thing about the six goals as well is it's not like he's scored two in one, he's scored one in one in, in the last six. So it's consistency, you can't ask for more than that. And he has been absolutely incredible. I have kind of said this though, he's a player who's on loan, so don't get too attached to this player, don't get too excited, he's not one of our own. He is a player that, he, you know, he's an Aston Villa fan, I think, he, he he's basically playing at the moment to try and hire himself, put himself in a better position, because he wants to play for Aston Villa Football Club. Well, I understand that, but what I'm saying is, don't get too attached, because this player has no ties, no loyalty to Stockport County, particularly, I'm not saying he's been disloyal, it might not be his decision to be recalled. Um, 
he's up, you know, I absolutely love Louis Barry. I think he's doing really well for us at the moment. And I do hope that he goes on to have a good career, whether that's, you know, a bit more time at Stockport or if he goes into the higher divisions, good luck to him because he's coming, he's got his head down and he's worked really, really hard. He's got, he's setting a really good example and he's looking like a you know, fantastic player as well. But a lot of people getting maybe a little bit too attached to this player. He could be gone by January. And as I say, is this going to be a massive problem for Stockport County? I'm not so sure. Look, he's scoring a lot of goals. He's been a massive, massive match winner for us recently. Really got us out in, in difficult moments. There's no doubt about that. But a lot of his goals have contributed to wins as well. So he's really, really impressive. It's really, really good to come in, have a good spell like he has done. But you've got to remember, we still have options as well. We've still got Paddy Madden. We've still got Cal Wooden to come back from injury. We've still got Tanto Alafi, of course, got a hat-trick himself. Uh, on Saturday, and of course Nick Powell, which again, uh, which again, he's not a striker, but he is an attacking player who you would expect to contribute towards uh, goals and assists. So we've still got a really, really good set of options, um, be, you know, behind him as well in the in, in terms of squad selection. And I do fully expect that if by some, uh, you know, by, if if somehow he manages to get recalled by Aston Villa, I'm pretty sure Stockport County will have an idea. There will be some scouting department now. They'll know who they want to come in and replace uh, Lou Barry on loan in January. I'm pretty sure of that. So I'm kind of relaxed on it. Of course, it'd be gutting. The form he's in at the moment, but there's still a long way between now and January as well. So if he doesn't keep up this form, then we might actually go, actually, do we need it? They, again, he could keep up that form as well, and, and, and they might decide to keep him in League 2. The argument you've got to look at as well, is it necessarily the best thing for Lou Barry to, come back to, to go back to Aston Villa? OK, he goes out on loan to a championship team. That's great, but can he do what he, you know, is doing at the moment in League Two? Is it potentially better for him to stick and do a whole season in League Two where he can consistently perform at high level week in week out, rather than him doing it in six months or four months and then cutting it short to then put him into a higher challenge in the Championship? I'm not so sure. You could create an argument to say it's better for Louis Barry's development to keep him performing at a really, 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 really good level week in, week out in League 2, and then maybe make the step up next season. I'm not so sure. But as I say, I fully understand Aston Villa's decision if they decide to, uh, you know, to recall him, to loan him back out to a higher division, or if they decide to even keep him as part of the, you know, the, the, uh, the Aston Villa senior squad, if they're going to use him a little bit. That's the question. For me, though, what can't happen is Aston Villa can't uh, bring him back and then loan him out to another League 2 club. That would be absolutely pointless. So I'm actually fully behind it. I'm fully supportive of him for his development, from Aston, from Aston Villa's point of view, to loan him out to a higher division. Obviously, from a Stockport County point of view, I want him to stick around as long as possible at the moment because he is looking like an absolute gem of a player. But I, I'm, I'm pragmatic about it. I understand that he's a really, really good player. He's an asset to Aston Villa. He's doing well at the moment. Potentially, they might think it's too easy for him at the moment. I'd argue, give it a few more weeks, see if he keeps up this kind of form because it could just be a really, really good purple patch. You know, he, he might end up then going on five games without, without scoring before January. So we have to wait and see. We can't get too carried away, but he is performing really well at the moment. And let's be honest, when Stockport County score, uh, score a goal at the moment, you're expecting it to be Louis Barry. I mean, it's surprising that Tanto Alafi took the, took the headlines away from him at the, you know, the weekend against Wrexham because if we're going to predict anyone to get a hat-trick on Saturday, you would have said Louis Barry. And look, Tanto Alafi was unbelievable. He got the hat-trick. He was also running around, put the yards in. Thoroughly deserved man the match, no doubt about that. But Louis Barry wasn't exactly any slouch himself. He was working really hard, looking really good, got himself a goal as well. So he was looking just as good as almost as he has been for the last few weeks. The difference is the rest of the players raised their level, and that's what we've got there. We've got a group of players now, talented players, but haven't necessarily been at it the last few weeks. Been very dependent on Louis Barry to come in, grab him out of trouble with the goals. And now what we saw on Saturday was a group of players upping their level, playing to the level that they're, that they're capable of playing to. And if we can keep that up, then absolutely fantastic. And as I say, if we can keep that up, we will shoot up the league. We're currently ninth at the moment. I'm really excited on the back of that result. We've got Atkinson uh, away at the weekend. I'm hopeful of a good result there. I'm hopeful of a win there. I'm, I'm wanting to keep this momentum going. And hopefully Lou Barry can keep his goal scoring uh, tally rising as well as the weeks go on. But let's just wait and see what happens with him. He may be recalled by Aston Villa in January, but we've still got a long way to go before now and then, and a lot can change very quickly. So let me know your thoughts on this news about Louis Barry. What are your thoughts on him potentially being loaned uh, back to uh, a higher division? What are your thoughts on him being recalled by Aston Villa? Does he even have any, any sort of opportunity 
of being part of that Aston Villa senior squad. Let me know your thoughts. Should he stick around for the whole season at Edgeley Park? Get involved in the comments. Let me know all your thoughts on Louis Barry, Stockport County, the win on Saturday, the feeling against Accrington on Saturday as well coming up. Let me know your thoughts. Get involved in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Show appreciation, show appreciation towards the channel. And as always, thanks for tuning in.